That's right, and it's possible this case could be appealed. It's also possible the city could try and find a way uh, to push this project forward. However, the plaintiffs in this case, uh, these environmental groups, say it is not going to be easy for the city because the, the land that the developers uh, want to build on is this high wildfire danger zone uh, that these environmental groups say has burned 65 times in the last 100 years. This project has a long history, uh, in, and there's been no um, no development yet. So we hope that this sends a message that we can all work together to permanently protect the site, which is. Uh and that was John Bussey, lead counsel for the Center for Biological Diversity, one of the environmental groups that sued to stop the Fenita Ranch project from going forward. Now, the land is owned by New York investment bank Jeffries Financial Group. Uh, in 2022, the city of Santee approved this 3,000 home development located between Mission Trails Park and Sycamore Canyon Preserve. But Bussey argues what the city failed to do was get approval from the voters, which by law they're required to do when it comes to projects uh, this size. And and a judge agreed. In her latest ruling, she said the project was inconsistent with the city's general plan and violated the state's environmental protection laws. So that is 3,000 homes that won't be built right now. Uh, we're in a housing crisis. Here's Bussey's response to that. We do need more uh, affordable housing constructed in, in San Diego and California in general. This project wasn't that. It wasn't, it wasn't an affordable project. But even if it was, I think we do need to look very critically at, at where we, we cite affordable housing. And citing housing that's affordable in very high fire hazard zones is, is not a good idea. Now, Santee Mayor John Minto gave me a statement over the phone. He said, quote, one of the reasons why we continue to have a housing crisis in San Diego and California is because, in my opinion, judges are afraid to rule in favor of cities or housing projects uh, because they're afraid of what the environmental community will say. Santee will continue to follow the law. Although we may not agree with the judge's ruling, we will abide by it and take the necessary steps to provide the best amenities for the community that we can. Now, back out here live, uh, Minto also points out uh, that development is controversial particularly residential uh, development continues to get a lot of pushback. Uh, he says at this point there has been no decision on whether or not they will appeal this case. Heather and Carlo.